or I was done with it at this time. I've already had my kids. So like I'm in a whole nother field. So like I've lived the life, like it doesn't impress me. I don't give a shit. Like I did modeling for Mexico, Acapulco, no Mexico city for their, um, in the, for their mint for 500 or whatever it is that they run. Like I was in that, I was in the middle of all that. And, um, no, I'm not impressed. Not impressed. It's just circuits, circuses and bread. And I was a part of it. Like I was part of the circuses. I went on stage to entertain 3,000 to 5,000 people a night. Get the applause. Go out the back door. And I did. I fed off their energy. And I gave it back to him clearly from my heart because I loved doing what I did. I understood the rhythm. I understood this is what I need to be doing right now. My age. At my age, I'd started at 17. My dad had to sign for me for two weeks until I was 18. At my age, I was able to go 17 all the way, meeting the father of my children at about 21 just turned 22 actually like 12 maybe 12 days after my birthday so in august i met him and i was able to after you know a year short or whatever i was able to know in my mind i'm not shacking up with this guy and he's not just going to take care of me i'm young enough and i can still work and if you love me you'll be there for me when i get back but hey come visit me in japan hey come vi-. like i left him twice to go to japan and we were dating and boy, I learned my lesson. I mean, that stupid of me. How's a man going to hold out at that age, but then tell you, he loves you and moves you, wants to move you in after you get back this and then makes an excuse that, well, you know, what are they going to do? Basically they didn't have sex, but she gave good head. Like, it's still not an excuse. That's a boundary for me. And I left. I was pregnant when I found that out. So that's a boundary for me, you know, like, and I've never been back. I've never lived under another roof or anything like that. But, um, I did travel, you know, I, I got it out of my system. I did it when I was young. I, I inspired to do it. I wanted to dance to the rhythm of life and I did. I'm still doing it. We're all doing it. It's just, what are you, what are you vibing on? What are you, what is your rhythm? What's your rhythm? So with that, I'm going to kind of close it off, but I just want to say that people struggle to fit in. People struggle to be, you know, you don't have to worry about that as much as like, if you're genuine and speak truth and you're coming from the truth of your heart, but you have healthy boundaries of what you're not going to accept. And you've given it a try. Like say you've given it a try and you've given it a minute to like zero in and focus on something and see if it's vibing with you. Right. If it's not, it's not a problem. <clears throat> you shouldn't have to worry about your moves or where you go or what you do or anything like that. I've never done that in my life. I've always done my own thing. I live alone. So I, a lot of people are connected to having to have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, having to feel like they have to have a marriage on a piece of paper. Like my relationship was a marriage of the heart. We never married. He broke my heart so drastically because I truly believed in true love that the separation for me was like a cutting of the knife, you know, and I'm a Leo and a strong heart and loyal, never cheated. And I can say that with truth. I've never cheated. There's no reason to, if you're happy, there's no reason to, if you really know that you're in love. And I thought I did know it's just his crown wasn't strong enough. He wasn't strong enough yet. My crown has been developed for a long time. And so that's what you have to accept in other people. And now, unfortunately it's too far, too long, too gone. <laughs> It's all gone now. It's a different rhythm, totally different rhythm now. So with that, I'm going to grab some more sun, probably take this, this is awesome. 
It says cozy on it. Take care, everybody. I'm going to do another one another time. Probably get into some arts, maybe some writings, some of my um, foreseen um, visualizations that I wrote down, waking up from dreams. Um, outer body experience. I've had three of them. Pinpoint three of them. And those were all before I was like 27. No, before I was 30, but yeah. Those were all, and I saw everything. I saw, I saw things lined up in my life that were to come. The things that I've seen now and uh, what I looked into, I'll share. I'll share sometime. People are nervous, people are scared, people are confused, people are speculatory, people are abused, people don't know how to communicate sometimes. I just want my communication to be solid next time. Next, any round, meeting anybody. Solid. Silence gives you the moment to say you're listening. And then after you listen, then you can inject. Just understand what you're injecting is your own frequency, your own purpose. So in a way, it's its own vibration, its own spell words. Just be very aware of them. And you'll go a long way. And forgive those, you know. Forgive some. You know, I had to do a lot. I had to do a lot of forgiving from a, from a young age and grow it. There's just so much of it. I mean, we all have our stories and stuff, but... Yeah, just forgive to, to get it on and move on. Like I had my lawnmower stolen, or not a lawnmower, but the, uh, my leaf blower. When I came out here and I was gonna blow all these leaves, I'm gonna do it because it's gonna show up. I think it's coming in, I'm not sure, by Wednesday. So today, I think it's Monday. So it'll be in by Wednesday and um, I'll replace the leaf blower that somebody felt obliged to come up on my property and go in either in my mudroom or in back through my garage somewhere and sticky finger my leaf blower. Tis the season. So anyways, peace out. We'll talk soon. I think I'm going to go, um, towards Christmas, the new year, possibly. Not that I care about time. It don't mean nothing. It's just timing, I guess. But I don't care about the time. But around the end of Christmas, going into the new year, if I focus on it, perhaps I can make that go around and use my brick garage that I have. It's, it's a doozy, but it does have electricity in there that I could hook up and get a Wi-Fi and um, set up a computer where I have a little more access to what I'm doing in communicating with y'all and who and what is going on. Peace out on that, right? Have a great day.